Okay, so in Cold to the Lamb, there are these special attacks called Curses. They deal devastating damage, but have a limit of about 3. You can replenish them with these orb called Fervor, that you could get by defeating enemies. Since they're such a limited source, one can wonder, can you beat Cold to the Lamb only using Curses? To answer my made-up rhetorical question, no. Before every game, you're actually forced to do this tutorial, even if it's your first time playing, or 34,795th time. Kinda sucks since you unlock curses after doing the tutorial, so to combat that, we're skipping it. Which, after doing it, just puts us here. I had to start off here, which is like after the first boss, and I just need to enter in Darkwood. I need the first room to enter to be not this, okay. I'm gonna keep quitting out, rejoining, because I'm trying to look for a curse room. I might die to reset the room layout. Oh, speak of the devil. <laughs> this is the room I was looking for. Yeah, Rat 2 gives you black energy. And then you just gotta shoot. And then we need to wanna skip along that and leave this room so the fervor stays in there. We're gonna wanna shoot this guy. So we're gonna try to get as far as possible. And right now it's actually looking pretty promising because we got a one enemy room and then a tarot card dealer. Rabbit's foot will be better, because that one, the weapon damage doesn't help with uh, curse damage. And then I also, I'm going to want to go back for that extra fervor. And I can break these statues for more fervor. And then hopefully there's three enemies, because I can only shoot three fireballs. <gasps> oh my god. The luck on this. <laughs> but again, we're out of curses, so we're going to want to go back to these statues. And something I learned, you can hit these dummies for fervor too. Okay, we just barely squeaked out three maybe. Yeah, we just barely squeaked it out. Hopefully there's only three enemies. I don't know why that guy tanks two shots, but so we're just gonna go to next. I think this is the yes. treasure chest room. And then enemies drop two times more fervor. That's actually a super good card because, well, I need fervor to do this. And then we got super bad rooms. I'm gonna go here because I could buy a person, but then this has the chance of me having a fight for a follower. So I'll go here. Yes, I give him one, seven coins, and we get this weird draft thing. So I'm gonna try to get as much followers as possible because I'm trying to earn up to seven to unlock a Nura real quick. So I could get a fleece from there. Maybe this trades for curse hearts. Oh, I'm gonna go here. <gasps> yes, it does. <laughs> or diseased hearts, not cursed hearts. And then we could break this for max fervor. This is where I'm gonna use the curse hearts and then hit again. Oh, it was a fighting room, so I don't think I had to kill them at all. And then this guy. And then this one, I'll have to use a diseased heart because then there's five enemies. Hit me. One hit, two hits. Ah, and there's five enemies. Okay, I cannot finish off this room. So I'm gonna have to die. I'm gonna wanna die, cause then, so when I come back into the dungeon, I have a curse before I even go in. There we go. That was actually a pretty good run. I got two rooms and a follower. And so since I have those followers, cat, what this helps me with is using this to f do a sermon. I could get better weapons faster. Four of them, so I get four. And I could get the Curse of Horde and get three new curses, which will help me on my Curse Crusade. So it's really RNG based, but it should be only really difficult in the start. Then as you can see, I get this weird looking curse, which I think is actually the best one I could get right now. I'm actually pretty happy about that. Cause it shoots out four tentacles. Maybe I could do it like this. This is a really bad one. I think I get hit in this room. And boom. Um, this is a hard choice. Hounds of Fate is a really good one for bosses, but it's not good for normal enemies. I think I do take it. I push my luck. And we just continue on. This is the boss room. I don't think I get to this room actually. Aw, oh, damn it. Hounds of Fate is not it. Okay, oh, yeah, right now I'm in a super bad situation. I should have kept the Maelstorm. Uh, yeah. I was greedy. I'm in such a bad situation. Please, just one enemy. Oh, what the heck? That was really random. I did not think that would happen. What? And I got a blacksmith next. So he does give me a curse, but it's not better. But check this out. Grab it. Full curse. And this is the boss room. I think I should be able to get this done. Good curse. I have a good amount of fervor. As long as I don't miss. Okay, we'll wait for them to jump around and then stand still. Okay, one third away. <gasps> They're almost there. I think I need to shotgun them like up close. I actually just threw it. I thought he was gonna stop, but he jumped two times more. I'm just gonna quit out. Oh my God. Okay. So we just got a card, when we get hit down to half a heart, we do double damage. So I'm gonna, these guys can freaking hit me, so I could do double damage, because I want to secure this victory. I'm not throwing like last time. Let's kill two of them, just so I have one. Oh, and I just freaking killed them. 
Am I stupid? I don't know why I grabbed that heart, but I have Hounds of Fate right here. And there's a full statue over here. And uh, yeah, let's hopefully not throw this like last time. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Nice. Nice. If I threw that, I would have cried. Look at me. I look like I got the crap smacked out of me. Okay. So we did it. On to the next one. Okay, this was actually less of for beating that boss, but mainly just to get the followers. Form, get, I got this guy, and then I get the boss, boom. And then after going there, I can now, instead of doctoring, boom, since I talked to Haro and got those, uh, fragments, whatever they're called. I have to have a good number of followers. I need one more follower and I could unlock a Nura. And then back in the dungeon, I just need 25 bones, that's all. That's a yeah. I'm gonna be aiming for a second follower, that's what I'll be aiming for. Wait. It's a bad run because this guy is a freaking tank. Oh yeah. Okay, I should be able to finish him off. There we go. Just a single guy. Sweet, I actually got really far. I did not think I would get this far. I could go here, here, and then here for two follow. I should be able to get bones from this guy. Good thing that I got 100% off because then I get that guy free. And I'm breaking these should drop, yeah, bones. Nice, nine more bones. I want to go to the food and then to the follower. Hopefully it's not a fighting one. It is a fighting one, great. I don't think I'll be able to do this, actually. No! no! He attacked right as that guy was doing that. Screw you. Yep, I can't complete this. There we go. 27 bones, so I could die a happy man. <laughs> Sucks with this follower, but... Should have been a cat. And there we go. So I'm gonna add that follower I got to the cult, because I can now unlock a Neuro with him. And then do a ritual. Boom. Bonfire ritual. And this should let me talk to my followers after. So, talking to followers lets me bless them, doing so will help me level them up, which just gives me more points during a sermon. Basically, I can upgrade my weapons faster. Easy peasy. And it just gives me better starting weapons. Okay, now I'm gonna open a nurse door. I don't know why this stupid thing is above my head either, it's a dumb glitch. Let's go into Anura, and then I don't know how hard this will be, because I'm pretty sure Anura enemies have more health. This is the only reason this floor is a little easier, because... Oh! I could crush frogs with freaking rocks. That sounds horrible, but that's what's happening. Don't even have to use any curse. <laughs> so this place is good because I need the mushrooms from here. See, I could get mushrooms from around the foliage, and that's what I need to get my fleece. Okay, down was the right way, but I don't. I think I just don't have enough forever to pull this off. Yeah, damn, that sucks. I'm gonna die. It should reset my curse, because this curse is just not it, man. Okay, so I died, got my mushrooms. I'm gonna go here, set down a farm plot. Make one right here, and then right here. Place these around them. So we're just gonna build these up real quick. And I'm gonna plant mushrooms in it. Cause I, can, well, I only have three mushrooms. I'll just do these three. And I think I have a sermon. Nice, that's actually really nice. Cause I could get this. Gives me one extra fervor. And this is good since I died. I no longer have that stupid other curse. So I wanna group all these guys together. Boom, get this one in the poison. Yes, I don't care if I lost that heart. <laughs> just gotta take it slow, and I can get every single frog for free. Get a card. A good card at that. Two times more fervor. That's nice. Why is that tree there? Blocking half my view. Three and one of deal right there. Let me actually just blow this guy up, just because. And this guy, get this guy with the rock. Bam! Maybe I shouldn't have wasted that fervor. And let's skedaddle. This is a pretty good curse, so here for a follower. Mm. I'm out of here. What is this room? I don't care what this guy has to say. He's just gonna make this guy starving. <laughs> Where am I? Later! Okay, I'm full HP. Everything's nice. Goosian. I'm gonna wait for him to start shooting at me, and then I'm gonna... There we go. I think that was a bad idea, because that did no damage to him. Get him right here, because he had a ton of lackeys. I just got, like, a ton of fervor from that. I just messed that up. Okay, I got one more curse. I need him to group up with these guys, these small guys. Right here. Come on. Yes! And then... BAM! Nice, nice. That freaking card saved me. Let's return. And I need to come back in again and look for certain mushroom creatures. I should, I should be able to perform a sermon real quick. Yep. I'm doing this because a new day is about to start, so I'll be able to perform a sermon after that. They're gonna be pissed at me though, because I woke them up. And then let's set a doctrine too. I wanna get sustenance one. I'm gonna get the feasting ritual. Let's just send them off. And the new day starts, so a sermon. 
Get me some more curses. Nice. I will go back in and fight some more. Oh, yes. Here we go. This is what I need right here. The mushroomos. And here we go. We got Spore Grotto unlocked. I actually want to go here. This is actually good. And I meet Fornius, Fat Cat. And then I want to buy this, the Ambrosia, which increases curse attack damage by 1.25 times. Thank you, Fornius. I shall add this to my collection. So that sucks, but I'm pretty sure I got the Mushroomos. So let's go to Sport Grotto. I need to talk to the guy back here. Greeting, Traveler. Me? Why, I am Sozo, of course. Researcher of all things mushrooms. Guess that makes me a fun guy. <laughs> this guy's mentally insane. Here's mushrooms. Excellent, excellent, but not enough. But I still get this. Yoink. Okay, so next I need 20 mushrooms, which I should be able to get. I should be able to pick more mushrooms. So let me fill in all the seed slots because I actually just remembered something. Let's get sustenance three, bounty of land or the seed. Land. Ritual of the harvest. When performing, we'll make all seeds immediately grow. Let's instantly do it. So all my seeds can grow, I can get more mushrooms to get more fragments. Oh, what the heck? Sweet. Then after, I just started collecting my mushrooms, so I can give them the sozo later. Until one of my followers came up to me and asked me this. What the hell? Benevolent leader, please don't judge me, but I've always wanted to eat a meal made of poop. What is this psychopath on about? He could have his dreams fulfilled now, because I was just about to make food for them. Yeah, I think that's him right there. <laughs> he freaking did it and got like, malaria. <laughs> What an idiot. And send him off to bed so he doesn't get anyone else sick. What an idiot, man. Okay, head over to Spore Grotto. I have 157 mushrooms. I might have went a little overboard. What the heck? Brainwashing ritual. Perform a ritual that brainwashes all your followers for two days. I don't care, I just want the pendant, man. Okay, now he wants me to perform the brainwashing ritual on them. Rituals, and what was it? This one. Give them all a little taste. <laughs> They're high off their minds. You did it, didn't you? Yep, I did. Now give me my fragment. Let's go one more, and I get a talisman. I mean, uh, fleece. Oh crap. I think I have to build this next. Oh my god, 20 gold freaking ingots. I'm not gonna be able to do that. Because each one of those bars costs five gold, and I only have five. So now I'm gonna go back into the dark wood then. I need to beat this first boss, I mean the third boss, and then go in again and look for the fisherman, which then I'll just get a single fragment from him. Go here. Great, and it's a fighting one. There we go. There we go. I think I do just go this way. Break this thing. I can max out on my fervor. I just need this guy to come over here. I need them to group together. Okay, there's only one left. You thought! <laughs> Please give me a good tarot card! <laughs> Wait, what? Increased curse attack damage? Okay. Okay, I need this one. I don't think I'll be able to do this. What boss is it? I know what boss it is. It's a... Uh... Oh wait, what? You could keep doing that? I didn't know every time you broke it. I thought it was only a one try thing. I might be able to do this then. So I need to wait for him to go under. Hit him directly. Poison him. Okay, I should be able to do this. Poison will just be the main damage dealer. Okay, I should get this 100%. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Wait, what? Why need to get poison? Let's <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, I thought I was gonna lose. Screw you. Now, actually, let me... I'm gonna break this. Get me full again. Maybe that's a glitch. I don't know, like... Is that actually intentional? This challenge is actually... This makes this challenge so easy, then. <laughs> I'm so dumb. See, this guy's here to tell me I'm an idiot. Oh, here it is. Sacrifice of flesh. So let's perform a doctrine real quick. Let's go possessions one. Extort thieves, because I'm poor and I need money and they're gonna hand it up. Because next, I am gonna do a ritual, sacrifice the flesh, and this old man. Maybe not. It doesn't even fill a, the thing up. Let me level him up real quick, actually. <laughs> Bro, he didn't even level up. He's a spiteful old man. There we go. I'm gonna bless him. There we go. Let's perform a sermon first and then a ritual. There we go. Now I can get this, so I have stronger starting weapons. Sacrifice. Oh, he's level two. Yeah, get out of here, old man. Get him! Why is he happy? <laughs> Supposed to be screaming for his life. Damn smuggled man. Now help me for later, so let's just go back in. I think I'll go this way, because this gives you two disease hearts. So here, yes, the fisherman. I just want to unlock this place. So even if I lose, I have still technically won. Better than resetting every run. I'm actually gonna get this. Don't know if that was the play, but it's the play I'm going for. Or just, this is the same thing, but it's not ice. I think I still get it though. Does more damage, I'm gonna get it. 
this guy. These are all kind of bad. Shoot three projectiles at once. It might be good for a boss though, like shotgunning it, like three fireballs hitting him at once. I'm gonna grab this. Okay, here's the boss room. Then just go in here. I go tired of you, little lamb. Oh, I do the same of you. And that's why I'm gonna kill you. Okay, let's do this. So I'm gonna get up in his face. Boom, boom, and then boom, because I need the fervor from his lackey. Oh my gosh, I probably should have kept with the sword. That was an abysmal amount of fervor. Okay, one of the lackeys need to get in front of me. <gasps> I forgot that I had cursed hearts! <laughs> I forgot I had cursed hearts. I was actually, oh my god. I was, I was about to get all depressed and be like, oh, I just threw that. I should have kept the sword. Nice. I actually thought I was going to lose that. Good thing I went that other way. And now, it's celebration time. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to do a sermon real quick. Get Fervor of the Righteous. So we should start with five instead of four. And then use that heart I got from Leshy to get Omnipresence. And then I'm going to want to go to Pilgrim Passage. I'm going to wait for nighttime. Nighttime now, I want to go down here. Say hello to Fox. I want to fish, a big fish. And I will give you something in return. Do you accept? Yes, I do. I only have one fish. And yes, yes, thank you, thank you. I now have a full Holy Talisman pendant, meaning I can get my fleece. Fleece of the Glass Cannon. Curses deal double damage and cost half the fervor, but melee weapon damage and health are halved. The first two are just so good that I can't like not have that. So I'll, I'm going to finish off on the red that I think so cradle after eight oh my god the fleece okay i have a ton of curse stuff since i have seven i'm just gonna go on to the next one now increase curse attack damage nice i need all these guys to get as a center <laughs> got all of them at once let's get hounds of fate i'm preparing for the boss fight i guess oh <laughs> literally before the boss fight okay watch this okay maybe i should shoot <laughs> Actually straight, but <laughs> collect this guy and we're out of here. Going to the temple. I literally have all of them. So let's do this first, I guess. Go for possessions three. Yo, give me a good ritual. Ritual of enrichment. This will also fix my money problem. So I'm gonna do the ritual of enrichment. I had like 20, 30 coins earlier. Give me all the money. I don't know how much I have, but I'm gonna see after. Then finally finish it off with a sermon. Curses of Necromancer. Okay, and then let's go back into Anura and freaking destroy this third boss so we can get the final one. I just finished that room and I still have Max. Oh, speak of the devil, more fervor stuff. I'm low on wood, so I have to, let's go this way, over here for more stone. Okay, they're all poison. These two should live though. Oh, or this guy's just gonna spawn. It was long ago, but I starved all your followers. Screw you. This is a third boss. I'm not even gonna get that actually. I'm gonna get the sword. <laughs> Cause this curse is actually really good. Just once and got a crit chance on it. I'm so low on health. I should be able to get this done. Oh, it's a zep paw. Does he jump? Yeah, he does. I need to play, use the poison to my advantage. Is he immune or something? I think he's invincible to the poison. Yeah, he doesn't take any poison damage. I should have picked up that other Iker one or- Oh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna lose this. Cause the poison just doesn't work on him. Okay, you know what? Screw this guy. I'm using Omnipresence. I'm out of here. That's actually so stupid. <laughs> Boss fight time, please tell me this is the right decision. Zeppar. Okay, this is actually poisoning the frog too, which is good. Ouch. And they're sitting in the poison, but they're not getting poison, which is weird. Should be able to get them with the last three, right? <laughs> I might not be able to do this, actually. I think I'll have to kill these lackeys. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh, another kill! <laughs> and then I'm gonna come back for the boss fight. Sermon. What the frick? Ah, oh, damn it, but I have to unlock a stupid weapon. Vampiric weapons. Sweet. And this is ready. I'm gonna do a high leveled one. <laughs> what the frick? This guy is sick, so I'm gonna go. That's so funny. <laughs> this is so loud and lasts so long. Might have the Devout 3, so. So better weapons. Okay, let's go back. There she is. Good curse, good curse. Uh, this curse is okay. Oh, what the heck? I think I have to fight monsters? Oh, what the heck? I need to fight two Gusians. I'm out of fervor. But I'm gonna leave like with omnipresence. Stop shooting at me. 
Yes. <laughs> oh my god, freaking stupid frogs. Ice version, bruh. I, I don't think this is gonna carry me to the end. <laughs> Please give me a good card. Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet. More damage or consume less. I think I'd rather consume less. And I have 10 curse, so I am in a good situation. I grab this. Rainbow. Oh, bruh. Attack rate increase. Wow, thanks so much. Oh my god. That is so useless, but oh my god, I attack so fast. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna go get wood. We're gonna do that and then hit up this room right here. Lose Wes Heart for Disease Hearts. Yes, thank you down. Sweet. Not that sweet. I think I get the poison. Could be a bad idea, but bad idea is my middle name. No, it's not. I wonder if I don't have to fight those uh, two Gooseians again, because I haven't seen them. Okay, I think the next room is the boss fight. This one right here is the boss fight. Oh, this is a uh, blacksmith. I didn't see that. It's got Hounds of Fate. Oh my gosh. Yep, boss fight. <laughs> Hecate is freaking getting her butt handed to her on a silver pla- on a diamond platter. It is unreal how bad this is gonna be. Heck it. <gasps> the amount of damage. <laughs> Literally three. Oh my gosh. Nice. That was actually so easy. I could have probably done it with the other curse. And celebration time. <gasps> Let's go. Not like it was really a fight though. I'm gonna start buying every follower possible from Hellob. After a while, he should give me a card. And I'm gonna go into Silk Cradle. Looking for a certain NPC. Okay, I go this way. I get a card, and I get to buy another follower from Hellob. Sweet. Consume less. Curse. Thank you very much. And Hellob, my man, is blue for some reason. Oh, wait. My number one customer. Back again for you. Thank you. And see, he gives me a card. Thanks. Fervor replenishes fully when entering a new combat room. And I think I just continue with a... Oh, wait. This... Oh, what the frick? He's gonna have me fight my follower. I'm gonna kill him. I'm not freaking leaving and coming back for this one idiot. That's what you get for being a little crap. If I do it directly, will they move? Ah, damn it, they will. Dude, their AI is horrible. Okay, whatever this guy's name is. Oh my god, I didn't think he was gonna charge at me. Okay, wait for him to fall down. Oh my god. Get him more! What the hell are these attacks? I never fight this guy for this long. Okay, he's gonna jump down there. Pre-fire him. Nice. So the next few bosses, they should be easier. I wonder how mad they are at me for killing that random dude. Oh shoot, they are livid. Let's do this then. It'll feed them and also make them less pissed off. Let's do this, I guess. They'll be brainwashed and they won't have any feelings. They're so happy about that. But sweet, and a level up too. Curse of Begid something. Curse of Belgian people. Which should give me all the curses. So nice. Okay, this freaking curse sucks, but I'm gonna try it out. It might actually be good. Only those homing triple shot. Okay. And bam. That's pretty good. Yeah, this is pretty good with the caterpillar, especially since covering up half the map. And maxed out? Yep. I'm just gonna go straight to the boss room. <laughs> it's the caterpillar, the one thing that this is good on. <laughs> he literally just followed the path I went. That was actually it's weird. I didn't think the curse would be that good. Um, let's make some food, then run straight back in. Dude, this is so laggy. So, at this point, something in my game is lagging me like crazy. I was looking for the cause and assumed that it was this farm. So I started removing a chunk of it, but after demolishing my prized little farm, I found out what it was. Could be the amount of devotion I'm getting too, since there's like eight of them praying at once. I'll look into that. I think I found who I was looking for. Yeah, this is what I was looking for initially. I'm gonna leave. So instead of going back, let's play a little game of Knucklebones. Okay, so I just need to beat Shroomy, that's all. It will be difficult though, because I'm pretty sure the RNG goes in his favor, where he's stacking up his dice. Oh my gosh, of course. This is what I mean. If he stacks one of these tubes up, I could just... Okay, that was just fully out of spite. What? Yeah, F you. Go. If he, since he stacked this one up, I could build up in the center, or he could just give me horrible dice. Yeah, I think he's gonna win, actually. Not on my watch. Oh yeah. Do here, I guess, to break his two. Oh my god, the comeback. Screw this game. After this, I just continued getting my butt kicked. I played like five more hella rigged games. Like, this guy was actually cheating. Until my luck finally turned around. The freaking game heard my complaining. I win. Stupid turtle. I'm having turtle stew tonight. You got lucky. Screw this guy. All this for fervor will slowly replenish over time. Hmm. Pretty good loadout. I think it's just all the stuff on the screen is lagging me. Like, all this fervor spawning is actually just insane. So laggy. Okay, Horus. 
I don't think a horse's name. Oh, he did not like hearing that. No, his attacks still kind of suck. <laughs> Honestly, the first boss was harder. Little man. Okay, here we go. Spider thing. Obviously, more of the enemies. Here are the problem. Fervor. Oh, okay. Well, I just got literally one of the best cards. I could um just wait around to replenish fervor instead of having to reset. I'm gonna actually use that fireball for the boss fight. Hopefully, this was the right move. Using the fireball instead of the sword one. Wait, not instantly, but because they're wind up attacks. They're not doing that much damage, actually. Oh, but they are doing damage. How did that miss? Okay. Ugh. Now I just need to survive. So I can replenish my fervor. There we go. There's one. Like this guy's attacks aren't that bad, but it's all the lackeys. Kind of sucks because there's. There we go. We got one. Okay, I just barely hit him. Oh, I got one back. He's gonna attack. There we go. Got him. Okay, I lost all my shield heart. There we go. Okay, it should be two more. That should get him. Okay, one last attack should should win this. <laughs> this is such a hectic boss fight. Okay, here we go. Yes! <laughs> oh, nice. See, I knew that card was just, it just guaranteed my victory. Celebration! So, oh, I have a, I have a heart actually. I think I'll get the diseased heart, and then I'll get the hunger within after. So now since I finally finished off Silk Cradle, the only thing left is Anchor Deep. It shouldn't be that hard because most enemies are just, you hit once and they die. Let's see. One of these guys. <laughs> with curses when that thing rings, but... Oh! <laughs> nice, Fervor's host! Every time I enter a new room, I should get maxed out. Direct. Oh my gosh, it's this. I think he's gonna make one of my followers sick. Yeah, see? He worked farts on him. And that guy's not happy about it. Oh, the next room is the boss room. Salios. <laughs> oh, they'll do it actually pretty easily. What the frick? Oh. Clunko and Bop, yeah. I need a- This is another one of those stupid knuckle bones guys I need to beat for a card. This is the second boss. So one more after this, and then easy pickums. Okay, it's this guy. I think he spawns a lot of enemies. Oh! No, he shoots a ton of projectiles. Oh my god, no, he does both! How are those not hitting him? Okay, one more and he's dead. Oh yeah! There we go. Second one down. Okay, so before I finish this up, let's head over to the Lonely Shack to beat Clunko and Bop. Okay, put the four here. Hopefully put a stack on four. Okay, uh, never mind on that four stack. Get a one stack. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna just shut up. Do this. No points for you. I'll get a six. Oh, no he doesn't. I think I have this in the bag then. I just need to get enough dice. Oh, four stack. I just need to fill up my board before you get something that breaks my dice. I win. Crushing the feet. Sweet, and I get this card. Receive five fervor, one hit. <laughs> this is actually just such a good card. That would have been good for a final boss fight. <laughs> and I just get fervor's host, okay. Explosion, explosion, explosion. <laughs> well, let's continue on my massacre. <laughs> Consume less fervor. I should have 10 now. Oh my god, it's actually just handing out the best cards. And it's this guy. Bees of Basil Bub. More like Basil sucks. Get out. Get out of here. <laughs> Hopefully, I get as lucky with the last three rounds with my cards. Okay, here's this guy. Calamar. Let's see. <laughs> I got the Calamari freaking tentacle thing. This is what I mean. The freaking cards are actually. I'm getting terrible cards right now. Good card? Oh, <laughs> thank you. That's actually a good card. Especially since it was an upgraded one. 0.25. The frick, and I got this? Three times more fervor. Let's go. And then, boss room. You are about to be served up for dinner. So let's. Ouch. Oh my god! Oh my god, I don't know why I dodged backwards like that. So I want. Oh my god! I want to get him with enemies. So I could get more fervor. I'm just freaked out because this. Oh my gosh! That freaking stupid bug thing was, um... Oh my god, I'm actually gonna die. Shooting projectiles. I'm low on curse. But I should be able to get him. Yes! Freaking little bullet hell. Pick up this. And we outta here. <laughs> it's like, so much sick followers. Let's actually do this. Get that the hunger. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna cook something. And then I'm gonna go for the final boss. So I want to 
cook a cannibal meal. I want to cook a mince follower meat. Eat this right here. Oh wait, what? Oh yeah, here we go. And it gives me two diseased hearts. I'm not sure if I'll be able to actually bring these in. Because I know you can't bring your fleece in. So let's see how this goes. Oh, I still have them. Nice. And I'll do this one. Because it spawns a ghost and attacks a ton. So I need refuse. Screw you. I just need to get to the final phase because that's where I have infinite fervor. So now we gotta get balls. I'm gonna wait for him to stand still so I could get a max attack on him. Kill him! Okay, and then I'm gonna get hit, so I should kill him. So it takes two to kill, and I think it should replenish when I fight the one who waits. Oh, I used three curses. Oh! Do this. All those will get him. This. Yeah, I do lose this because I can't do any more damage. I could do a glitch, actually. So for anyone who's wondering what the hell I'm doing, when going on a crusade, there's a chance you stumble upon a modified room. They give you random bonuses that you'll see up in the top. But if you quit out while you're in one and load your save back up, the game thinks you're still in a modified room. So any level you go in after, you'll get that modifier back in the room you just entered. So since I can't use my fleece in the afterlife, I just use a modifier that gives me a card to fill in for the fleece's bonuses. Come on. Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, it actually works! I need to continue save quitting until I get a fervor tarot card. Random cards begins. Unless I get it first try. Okay, no. This might actually be able to get me it. I'm gonna do it. I'm bored and I wanna try this out. So I wanna use this one, because the last time the shotgunning a boss actually worked really well. <laughs> Time to throw my fireball that ball. Boom. Okay, and that kills him at least. And I think I gained back five fervor. I don't know how much I need for a full thing. That's actually that actually hurt him like hell. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the disease hearts to kill him. Kill him. Hit me. Okay, yeah, one more, and then he's gone. There we go. I should have two more to use on the one who waits. So wait for him to teleport. Come on, just shoot it at him! All in charge up. Okay, and he's really hurt. I need to get... Oh, there we go, it just refreshed! So I just need to get to a certain point. Okay, I I, I win! And my followers, which are going to be carrying me through this. I have max right now, so let's shotgun. Wait for them to shoot. Shotgun. Boom! There goes one. Hide right here. Okay, this guy, see, yeah, see they drop fervor. So, thank you, thank you. Shotgun, shotgun, more fervor. And then this just this is just a win. No! Yes! Wait, I need to pick up some fervor so I could do the final hit on him. Wait, what? Murder or spare? I'll spare him. He freaking got his butt kicked. I'm not really pissed at him. You weak, sniveling, foul thing, you. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Uh, he thought I was gonna kill him. Now I want it after he said that crap. So, nice. I can do it. That was actually so nice. As you can see, you can do curse only after the first boss. <laughs> nice. But the kid is not my son. She says I am the one. But the kid is not my son. Oh. No.